Representative Sablin. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Um, uh, and thank you, Commander Marshall, for joining us today. Uh, welcome to you and your colleagues, sir. Thank you for all that DAB does for veterans. Uh, Commander, you noted in testimony. Let me... You know, noted in your testimony the many barriers and inequities facing minority veteran populations. You mentioned that one key to understand the barriers and inequities is giving voice directly to the underserved population. Um, my bar bipartisan bill, HR 3730, passed by the House last year, provides a voice to veterans living in the U.S. territories in the freely associated states by establishing a dedicated advisory committee within the VA. The advisory committee would provide recommendations to the VA sector to address the disparities in service and health outcomes, which are great in greater numbers and have not been looked at. But would, um, would the, the disabled American veterans uh, be willing to support HR 3730, uh, Commander? Uh, interesting question, sir, uh, and thank you for that question. I will yield to our legislative director, Ms. Elam, for that response. Thank you, Commander. Um, we do believe that um, advisory committees are an important way to ensure that um, VA is taking into account all veterans' uh, challenges for using the system, gaps that are in services, and you've been a tireless advocate for on this issue to make sure that all, vo all veterans' voices, especially in remote uh, areas, are heard. And we certainly want to be able to support um, that moving that ball forward. Um, the, the essential piece, I think, is listening to those veterans, making sure that we understand the unique challenges that they face. You've brought a number of these forward, and we're happy to um, help move that forward for you. Thank you very much. I'll take that as a yes. Thank you. I yield back. Uh, 